You know, when our Lord said in Matthew chapter 5 that you are the salt and light in the world, um, he didn't really define it there in any more detail than that. And so that has gotten really a, a, a misrepresentation of some serious proportions. People have assumed that this idea of salt and light is just some kind of, um, I guess, um, minimal influence uh, that, you know, we're supposed to influence the world in social ways and moral ways and maybe even economic ways. That is not what he is talking about. When he talks about salt and light, he is talking about the direct influence in the world of the Word of God. The Bible says, the entrance of your Word gives light. Light is always the truth of God. It isn't just the church's moral influence or social influence or economic influence, political influence. That's not what he's talking about. That's not that's not light. Light is scripture. Light is Christ. I am the light of the world. And when he talks about salt, he's talking about something that preserves, something that sort of stalls off or delays corruption. And again, what is that? That's the truth. That's the gospel. It preserves a society, you might say, from judgment. So salt and light takes us to the gospel, to the light of Scripture, and that is the call to believers in the world.